Hey, it's Colonel Ben Johnson, the 6th Area Fueling Wing Commander, and it is an exciting day to be at McDill, to be out on our airfield here, to be able to watch us do hot pit refueling with our mighty Strato tanker, the KC-135. So what you're seeing behind me is what we call hot pit refueling. We're actually refueling it on the ground with one of the engines running. That enables us to actually have the minimum time on the ground. It reduces the chance of other maintenance problems arising that would take longer to fix to get it back airborne. And it keeps it on the ground a shorter duration if we're in a high threat environment. So again, we're advancing our warfighting capabilities. Our airmen from McDill, our air crew, our maintainers, they were doing this downrange in the Middle East and now we're doing it here in a training environment at McDill that's gonna help us do this in every area of responsibility globally to make us a more lethal fighting force. And uh, so proud of our maintainers, our air crew, our POL, our fuels airmen from the logistics readiness squadron that are all taking part in awesome teamwork to make the next leap in air power in the KC-135. Accelerate, change, or lose is the focus point for the Air Force. In order to win, we must better processes that we have in place or change them to make them better. Okay, today is a great example of Team McDill's innovative airmen accelerating change to ensure that we never lose. You know, we've used innovative ideas from throughout the ops maintenance team to ensure that we can provide combat air power to combat commanders any time, any place of their choosing. Multiple units participated in order to safely complete this process and get our jets back in the air, including individuals from Command Post, 6th Maintenance Group, 6th Operations Group, Safety, Fuels, Airfield Operations, and many more. Yeah, Total Air Force Ready, uh, Ready Air Force, it's kind of the same way as it ties into the Accelerate, Change, or Lose. Uh, so right now, I'd say the biggest pressure is just making sure that we're doing it safely. Uh, the team that we have, uh, you know, they're really expert technicians. Uh, we're constantly evaluating the process, making sure that it's as safe, uh, not only for the, you know, the ground technicians, but also the, the pilot, co-pilot, the boom upstairs, just making sure that we're doing this right, safely and efficiently. We don't want to, you know, get into it too fast. We're going to take baby steps until, you know, we're fully implemented. There's no questions and everything is as safe as possible. Air power, anytime, anywhere.